Welcome back everyone, Houston Math Prep here with an additional example video for a linear homogeneous second order equation using reduction of order. We did one example in our intro video that talks you through the method. We're going to go ahead and do another homogeneous example. Here we've got the equation y double prime plus 4y prime plus 4y equal to 0. And let's say we're given a known solution of e to the negative 2x. So e to the negative 2x satisfies this equation. And we want to find the overall general solution. Remember the first thing we'll think is that our solution is going to equal u, some function of x we call u, times the y1 function of x that we already know. So our general solution for this is going to look like this. So in this instance, we will say that y is equal to u times e to the negative 2x. That will give us a substitution there. We'll need y prime and y double prime as well. Let's go ahead and get those. So if y is u times e to the negative 2x, so this derivative will be a product rule. So we'll get u prime times e to the negative 2x plus we'll have u times negative 2 e to the negative 2x, so really we'll get a minus there, so we'll say u prime e to the negative 2x minus 2u e to the negative 2x. Let's go ahead and do our y double prime. That gives us our y prime. So we'll take the derivative of this first derivative here. Each of these is going to be a product rule now. So derivative of the first one, we're going to have u double prime e to the negative 2x it will end up being minus 2u prime e to the negative 2x. So that's the derivative of this part here. Now we have a product rule over here as well. And let's do this other part. Now we have a product rule again. I'll at least go ahead and bump out my negative 2. So just taking the derivative of this part here. So it would be u prime times e to the negative 2x. And then we get a similar thing here where the negative 2 comes out. So we'll get negative 2u e to the negative 2x. Let's go ahead and simplify this a bit. So we'll get u double prime e to the negative 2x. Here we have minus 2u prime exponential minus another 2u prime exponential. So that's actually minus 4u prime e to the negative 2x. Negative 2, negative 2 here would make that plus 4u e to the negative 2x. Okay, so we have something for y double prime now as well. Let's go ahead and plug all of this into our equation. So y double prime to start, u double prime e to the negative 2x minus 4u prime e to the negative 2x plus 4u e to the negative 2x. That's our y double prime plus 4y prime, so plus 4 times this here for y prime, u prime e to the negative 2x minus 2u e to the negative 2x. And then we have plus 4y, so plus 4 times our original here, which was u e to the negative 2x, equal to 0. And now remember, at this point, our u terms are supposed to 0 out, and we shouldn't have any more u terms left if we've done things correctly. Right, so we'll go ahead and make sure that that happens and do some simplifying. So if I distribute the 4, we'll get 4u prime e to the negative 2x. We'll get minus 8u e to the negative 2x. And then here we have plus 4u e to the negative 2x equals 0. And if we look for our u terms here, we have 4 of them here. We have another 4 makes 8 minus 8 of them. So this plus this would be 8, minus that would be 0 of them, so we get no more u term. And also, I guess if you'll notice here, we have minus 4u prime exponential plus 4u prime exponential as well. So I guess it just turns out that we get u double prime e to the negative 2x equals 0. So that's nice. Okay, so for reduction of order, now remember, once we get rid of all of our u terms, what we'll do to reduce the order, we're going to let v equal u prime here. And if v is u prime, then that means v prime is actually u double prime, right? So we're going to make that substitution over here. And remember, because we started with a homogeneous equation, that should give us something that is separable. So I just get v prime e to the negative 2x is equal to 0. In other words, if you want to separate this, you might think of dv dx e to the negative 2x equals 0, 
Now if I divide both sides by the e to the negative 2x, then I'm just going to get that dv dx actually is equal to 0, right? And I guess technically if we separate the variables, we get dv is equal to 0 dx, right? And if we integrate this, what will we get? Well, on this side we'll get v. And on this side, what's the antiderivative of 0? Well, it's just a constant, right? So we'll say v equals c1. So remember, the whole point of the method is to find u to multiply our y1 that we already knew. Well, v is u prime, right? So to find u, we actually need to take the antiderivative of that. So in other words, u is going to be the antiderivative of c1 dx. So that's actually going to give us c1x plus some additional constant then, right, if we integrate. Okay, so let's go ahead and remember what we said now. At the beginning, we said our solution was going to look like y equals u times the y1 that we already had. And remember, our y1 that we already had was e to the negative 2x, right? So our solution here then is going to be c1x plus c2 times that y1 that we already had, e to the negative 2x. So a nicer way to say that might be c1x e to the negative 2x plus c2 e to the negative 2x if you prefer. Okay, that's our additional homogeneous example for reduction of order. If you want, you can check out our additional non-homogeneous example to practice more of your reduction of order. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.